All right, how you doing? This is Julian Brown. I'm back, and uh, we are describing this time we'll be talking about prescription drugs and prescription drug abuse, and how serious of a problem it is. Um, so, uh, you know, a recreational use of prescription drugs is a very serious problem, especially with teens and young adults. Uh, national studies show that a teen is more likely to have abused a prescription drug than an illegal street drug. Uh, many teens think prescription drugs are safe because they were prescribed by a doctor, but taking them for non-medical use to get high or self-medicate can be just as dangerous and addictive as taking illegal street drugs. Uh, there are very serious health risks in taking prescription drugs. Um, this is why they're only taken under the care of a doctor, and even then they have to be closely monitored to avoid addiction or other problems. So many of these pills look the same, and it is extremely dangerous to take any pill that you are uncertain about or were not prescribed for certain reasons. Uh, people can also have different reactions to drug use, to the differences in each person's body chemistry. Uh, a drug that was okay for one person could very well be risky for another and fatal for someone else. Prescription drugs are only safe with individuals who actually have the prescriptions for them and no one else. Um, some things that you should know, some things that you may not know about prescription drugs is due to their potential for abuse and addiction. Many prescription drugs have been categorized by the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration in the same category as opium or cocaine. These include Ritalin, um, Dexedrine, hopefully I pronounced that right, and painkillers Oxycontin, Demerol, and Roxanol. Many illegal street drugs were at one time used or prescribed by doctors or psychiatrists, but were later banned when evidence of their harmful effects could no longer be ignored. Um, examples include heroin, cocaine, LSD, methamphetamine, and ecstasy. Uh, abuse of prescription drugs can be even riskier than the abuse of illegal manufactured drugs. The high potency of some of these synthetic man-made drugs available as prescription drugs creates a high overdose risk. There is particularly true of Oxycontin and similar painkillers where overdose deaths may have doubled over a five-year period. Many people don't realize that they're distributing or selling prescription drugs other than by a doctor is a form of drug dealing and as illegal as selling heroin or cocaine with costly fines and jail time. When the drug dealing results in death or serious bodily, serious bodily injury, dealers can face up to a lifetime of imprisonment. So um, this is going to show you some of the, the dangers of uh, prescription drugs, um, the penalties for selling prescription drugs, and taking something that's not particularly uh, prescribed for you. So, uh, you know, this is just an introduction. We'll get into some more. Hopefully this video has helped someone. And uh, thank you for watching.